All right, uh, back again for another Tackle Talk. Uh, I haven't published the most recent one, so I assume that it did okay, like most of the others, or really well, like some of the others. I don't know, I don't understand YouTube. It makes literally no sense to me. So I'm just putting out videos and hopefully people gravitate towards them. So anyway, yeah, uh, back again. The uh, So Jake was kind enough, I, he had some lures that he was looking to move because he found some lures that he liked more and I was more than happy to uh, relieve him of some of those lures. Um, and, and he sent me another care package as the summer is quickly approaching. So without further ado, um, I'm gonna just kind of dive right in here. It's like, again, it's like Christmas, but it's better than Christmas because it's all musky lures instead of socks or underwear or t-shirts or pajamas. Anyway. Callie's saying something to me. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. The first lure I got here is the Naven. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't know. I, I thought I was pronouncing it correctly before, but apparently I was wrong. Steve Jones gave me a long backstory on how this lure got its name, which I don't remember, but it was a cool story. Nonetheless. Anyway, Naven, 8-inch, uh, foil walleye. Uh, yeah, Jake had one of these available. Couldn't pass it up. Brian banged that 42. Uh, I assume that video will be out or has been out for a while now. I mean, you saw the picture. Just uh, this lure is cool, man. I, it's got a really slim, sleek profile. It's got that awesome dive and rise action and it fits a niche that like not a lot of lures fill, which is really unique to it. And I'll probably do a video kind of breaking down the different sizes of these at some point. Again, not that I'm sponsored by Chaos Tackle, but these are like super cool lures. And what's really interesting is like, if you're, our cats are just being stupid as always. If you've watched any of these videos, you know that they literally can't be controlled. And I don't even know what the one is doing right now, but she's in the box. They're, they're in our, our Hello Fresh box and they're fighting one another. It's great, it's great. Anyway, so as I was saying, this lure really fills a niche that you can't quite find with other, other profiles. Like uh, for example, a seven inch Suic is much more narrow profile. It's a much like smaller bait generally. Um, and then like if you get to the nine inch Suic, it's like much larger than this. Like even the SRJ, as much as I love that lure, puts off a much larger profile in the water than even this, this Naven does. So it's really, it fills a, a very unique and specific niche at its size class that not a lot of lures can fill. Uh, Callie had some luck with it on the water here recently. My dad did too. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get those fish to eat, but had some luck with it nonetheless. Um, so yeah, eight inch Naven, it's been, it's been good. Next one is a company that I know is fairly famous. I, I think they might be from Missouri. I'm not really sure. Uh, this is a six inch Harvey. Uh, Jake said he had this little guy available and obviously I'm a sucker for dive and rise. So uh, I was like, yeah, six inch Harvey. That's cool. It kind of looks like a uh, six inch Bobby, which we've had some luck with in the past. And Jake was willing to kind of, you know, uh, to send this one my way and I, I just, I wanna try it out. I've never really tried one. I've heard lots of good things about them and the paint on it is awesome. Like it looks like a really good natural kind of walleye color. Hopefully the camera's picking that up okay. Uh, I'm not sure I ha like as to what it looks like in the water walking or diving or shaking wise, but it looks like it's gonna be a fish slaying machine. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. All right, next uh, next lure here on the list of baits, we got, oh, would you look at that, another B-52. Uh, this one, again, Jake was kind enough to sell to me, and this one's got the blizzard tail. Looks like it's been chewed once. I should probably fix that, or just got ripped in shipping. Not a big deal. Fix that before we throw it. Man, this thing is cool. It's that pearl color that I like. I talked about it a bunch in my last video. 
Uh, my last tackle talk. These things are big, ready for big fish. Should get eaten, hopefully get eaten. Um, yeah, dig it. It's a cool lure, love it. Uh, just monstrous, monstrous lure, which is pretty sweet, but can't beat it. Anyway, I guess I don't have much more to say about the B-52 because I haven't thrown these giant ones yet uh, at this point in the season. I think they're going to work really well, especially as we move later into the season, ripping big profiles out of the weeds and stuff. It's going to work. I'm excited about it. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, next on the list, Honey Badger. Uh, this is kind of a red and black pattern. Thank the good Lord we are finally moving past kind of glider season here for the most part in the early spring. I'm not saying that gliders don't have an application but uh, later in the year, but I'm just not a big fan of gliders, but I know they work really well. And uh, a guy I know named Pat says uh, he swears by these honey badgers that they're like the best gliders out there. Jake says they're good. So if they say they're good, I'm good with... Uh, I'm good with throwing the honey badger. Uh, this color should be phenomenal in the spring too, just kind of work and, and kind of stand out the uh, the red. The red and the black kind of standing out uh, against, you know, just kind of the water, whether it's stained or not. And then maybe the slender profile will give off a little bit of different glide slash wobble. Uh, I'm excited to throw it. Should be pretty cool. Um, I haven't thrown this one yet. I just got this package like two days ago, so I haven't even been on the water with any of these lures yet, but uh, that's the honey badger. I just, I wish I had more to talk about uh, with the honey badger, but uh, I really don't because I haven't thrown it much yet. Looks cool. Pumped about it. Uh, so yeah, Jake's care package. Got one more lure in the care package. Ah. Doesn't want to come out of there. Okay, sharp hooks. So that's a good thing. Sharp hooks. Okay, baby beaver, looking at you, Grant. You told me that fish eat these, and I swear to God, if they don't, I'm gonna be mad at you. But seriously, this thing looks awesome. Nice shad color profile. Still early in the spring. Might have some people pump these around this weekend. I, I'm taking out a father and son duo. Looks pretty sweet. Uh, you know, just a really unique action as a beaver. Uh, I know Doug Wagner had a video where he talked about putting a front hook on the nose there, so I'll probably do that. I added one to my uh, baby beaver or mini beaver. I don't remember the sizes. I don't know. If, I think this might be the mini and then I have the baby. Anyway, I've got the two smaller sizes. I don't have the normal or the XL, but uh, eventually maybe I'll get one of those if I actually can get some fish on these. But man, this is a, I mean, they're cool lures. They have a super unique action. Uh, they have a really unique clack in the water. Um, I just need to get some gumption and, and throw mine more than I do. I know that they work. Um, I literally just watched a video of, uh, I think it was Luke Swanson, Living the Dream Guide Service, and he banged one in the late fall in 36 degree water on one. So it's like, clearly they catch fish, especially in Minnesota. So. Need to throw it more, need to get people to throw more in my boat. The only bad part about having awesome musky lures is, the only bad part about having musky lure, all these musky lures is you can only throw one, like one cool lure at a, one cool lure at a time. And uh, yeah, just means that I need people to fish with or people to come along. So hopefully, um, hopefully, We'll uh, be able to bang a few fish on these lures this season, send Jake some cool pictures, and yeah, I'll actually have some videos of, of me and, and people in my boat catching fish, which would just be phenomenal. I'm hoping that uh, by the time that this comes out, that that's turned around, and maybe you guys have seen pictures of me holding real fish on social media, but if not, I mean, it's whatever. I'm just gonna keep at it, because what else can you do? Anyway. If you guys like the Tackle Talks, the, the unboxings, whatever you wanna call them, I, I don't know, I'm just, the lures are cool, putting stuff out there. If you like them, uh, please let me know in the comments. If you have questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll try and address them as best I can. If I can't, then I'll find someone who knows more about it than I do because I'm by no means an expert as evidenced clearly by my rate of success so far this spring. 
Anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.